What's up, breathing people? <laughs> Set timer for 30 seconds. We're gonna do 30 seconds of silence. Use this time to be still, to be silent, to just be. All right, let's do it. <sighs> All right, thank you for doing that. We're back into the book today. Uh, the reading is from Mark 1, 33-38. It says, The whole town gathered at the door, and Jesus healed many who had various diseases. He also drove out many demons, but he would not let the demons speak because they knew who he was. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Simon and his companions went to look for him, and when they found him, they, ex they exclaimed, Everyone is looking for you. And Jesus replied, Let us go somewhere else, to the nearby villages, so I can preach there also. That is why I have come. <sighs> the challenge to shed our false self in order to live authentically in our true self strikes at the very core of true spirituality. We see this authenticity in the life of Jesus. In the midst of a mini revival in the town of Capernaum, Jesus was able to withstand the pressure of everyone looking for him and to move on to another place. I love that. Um, where am I? There he is. Uh, he also knew his father who loved him and had a work for him to complete. In living faithfully to his true self, however, Jesus disappointed a lot of people. For example, he disappointed his family to the point where his mother and siblings wondered if he was out of his mind. That's Mark 3:21. He disappointed the people he grew up with in Nazareth uh, when Jesus declared who he really was, the Messiah. They tried to push him off a cliff. That's Luke 4, 28 through 29. He disappointed his closest friends, the 12 disciples. They projected onto Jesus their own picture of the kind of Messiah they expected him to be. When he failed to meet their expectations, they quit on him. He disappointed the crowds. They wanted an earthly Messiah who would free them, fix all their problems, overthrow the Roman oppressors, work miracles, and give inspiring sermons. They walked away from him. Uh, he disappointed the religious leaders. They did not appreciate the disruption his presence brought to their day-to-day -day lives or to their theology. They finally attributed his power to demons and had him crucified. Whew. The question for today is, what might be one specific way that you give in to expectations uh, rather than being faithful to what Jesus has for you? That's a good one to ponder. Um, go away. Take this to Jesus in prayer, just like we talked about yesterday. Take everything to God in prayer. That's where you're going to find true joy and everlasting peace. I hope you all have a great rest of your week. I'll see you on the next video. Love you all.